comes. Yep, boy, yep, boy, yes, man, da battle by some Zant Africa. This is indeed teenagers on a mission of a good ABC One Way Life and TV. Are Udo? Absolutely right, my fate in Peter Ubuntu, and of course, your boy Sia. And we are yet again to take you on another amazing mission and journey of e science and technology. And of course, I'm trying to be so showing motivation and footy a bit of a challenge. Yep, boy, yes, no moves of when and Okay. When what would you do in order to change Umpagatuako or even the nation? Hmm. Well, for me, in the funayo is better security as well as safety. Because it can be better than Mzanti Bafeto, Iya Shakuisa. I can't even see it See ya. But I do want to know what it takes for Umdu to be able to get rid of it. What's your name? Mm-hmm. Umdu is a good one. Okay. I bump. Yes. I told you the purpose in life <clears throat> and live that purpose and fulfill it to the fullest. Mm. So I mean for one to get out of their comfort zone because the world needs someone like every one of us. And I'm trying to get a different nom nyom jita who's doing just that. Stepping up to the plate and is gonna show us what he does through his passion for education as well as a bounty to access it. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I see you. Let's go. A future tertiary education funding custodian, Obabit Zangorki Andrew. The one in our Hobo Egg that link to Honazango to such contribute to educational resources. Rich to double net about hunting educational funding, you know, fit as on Hobart's Wassenang Yona to further their education. The one in our Germany, it got it is on to advocate free education for all. Lur hunting the free education funding at tertiary on a hunting the Icarilish one. Hari today na hor tertiary education funding mechanism yona hand in the echo na jangur chusaka free educational needs. Hari test the knowledge how hari ba pala the T L M Z quiz. Okay, Mzantis cut this for you, for you and I to communicate on social media. Namfuli ba fetu namfuli guazi. Should tertiary education be free? Let's see what you guys have to say on Facebook. Let's put it again. O Asanda Mnisi uti absolutely. I am all for free education, especially for those that need it most. Hmm. Nice one. Let's be like this. Put it again. Umzwa kewagan jovo. And you know get uti hashtag fees must fall. Trust Mike. Hey, all right, cool. Keep those comments coming in by Facebook on social media. On Facebook, we are Tom's. On Twitter, at Tom's underscore SABC underscore one. Right now, it's Colin Ted Martini. It's called Tav. All right, Tim Zanti, we've heard what you guys had to say on social media. Right now, Silanage is social over at Philadelphia Secondary School to ask one of our friends with Bonabak Kabang and Galulu Taba. Show him Fetu. Hola. Show him Galulu Zubani Kamalako. My name is Lucio. Now let's talk about financial aid. When it's financial aid, what comes to mind? Aid by Bazaar. Um, in my university is like what in as far as ever. Ah, things like learnership, uh, scholarship. Now, when it's financial resources, what comes to mind? Uh, it comes like kabanga, mapuge, skolo, um, ne tenjetlansi mal. And why do you think it's so difficult for umuntu kuthi athole imfundo emahala? Kena kana gore o se ntubere ke gore o fihlele se o sinyaka. Um, I think it's because in a society developing country mm -hmm. and uh, the economy right now, I it's mainless right. Mm -hmm. So, I see Lula man, good to tell you free education. Do you think everyone is entitled to free education? Uh, no, not everyone because Baba Wangu School is a little wrong, Baba Wangu is a little Yes, it makes my heart very sore to know that Abba Fundaban needs a bad culture in tertiary education because Abba Nayo in Mali or Batalela. Why is tertiary funding so important? Let's check it out. Tertiary funding is a lot of people who are in the world. They 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 are but to Baba Nga, the Basa Khonu Mopa Tala school fees go primary kapa go high school. The parents are one they exempt from paying school fees. Mo Africa bo ramutu omo lomong ona le tokele or afu mene tuto, but there is never education without resources. The students say that they are less fortunate, but how now apply the funding it's on from the government kapa do khobo tete. Mba lai lor education is free, lo ona hai itloka funding ete. In 1972, 1971, Western Germany higher education students no sense about but the tuition fees that were at a level of 120 to 150 German marks per semester. There were need-based exceptions, but the basic tuition fees no sense about the students sitting less sitting. 
In the 1960s, the Social Democrats supplied higher education expansion by promoting wondering participation and equal opportunities. Hormato hono from an educational institutions zaba to babanga tama Germany. Mala wapelo fiti leka 1976. Mala ngoro bati bele zaba to ruba skapatala school fees sabon. Ka 2005, German Constitutional Court here ili ati bele zaba to ruba patale di tuition fees and ento yare ifiti sita kemo to babita korke Gerard Schroeder. So if I'm a fund you benu VC balola imfundo ya mahala so that means the educational funding gap must be bridged so that abe fundi benga itholi bese macaleni because of ini inkwele yetu zokufunda nyangeleyo basically at the moment ikhulumane funeke ifumane i plan esebenzayo ne ukuze abafundi baba nayo i access to education that's all it is yeah man mina umbuzo engubuza yona mhlanje uthi kahle do you think when alapho ekhaya lento yokuthi imfundo emeli be mahala izosebenza ngo likhulumane athi ngikunqa zezokuxhumana why you do exactly that so we quick commercial break ungayindawo All right, I'm Zansi and I'm going to put in some of the TMZ, Mona and SABC One, we love and TV are one. Yeah, boy, yes. In front of the year, it's done over the years, as we all know, and the educational resource capacity for the school in order to meet its standards, the demands is about fundi. Because by fundi, fundi, yani yani guys, but as now in mal. Sure. Now, in China, I get it's all like a fair to unemployment and full tiger. I want all my skills and my qualifications to actually get the work. And I said, I want to be to unfunda, no matter unfunda, if balige or kulu, I want to be like volela amatuba amaningi. With that being said, have a look at this. It's your boy C A W D Y pronounced Katie. Yet again on another mission. Today I'm reporting from Cape Town and we're all about resources in education. So today we're gonna meet up with a young man who's doing phenomenal work for his community. Without wasting any time, let's go meet him. Hi, Gesha. Um, meet my friends. Hello guys. Hello. Thank you for inviting us into your home, my boy. Um, you're welcome. Okay, so it's Jelly Gay. Where are you from? What do you do? And where are we right now? All right. Um, Nagali Vitoke Endru Ratelele, originally from Limpopo province. I was born and raised in a township called Khapani. Mm. Um, I'm an entrepreneur, a 19 years old entrepreneur. And besides being an entrepreneur, I'm a student. Yes. I'm studying towards a national diploma in quantity surveying at the uh, Cape Peninsula University of Technology. Mm. And on the other side, I'm also studying towards a Bachelor of Commerce in Accounting at the University of Western Cape. Yes. And now uh, uh, we are in, in, in Cape Town. Yeah. This is where I moved mm -hmm. in, in, in January 2017. Mm. Okay, so Shadege, how are you studying two qualifications at the same time? Uh, you know, mo mo most people thought I wouldn't cope. Um, but I, I normally when, when people ask the, such a question, mm. I, I refer to time management. Yeah. Because it, it, it's not only that you, wo you wouldn't cope if you, you're studying two courses at the same time. Mm. It, it is all in your mind. If you tell yourself that you won't, you won't cope, then yeah, you yeah. won't cope. Mm. But if you mm. know how to manage your time, you will definitely cope. And, and that is what I'm doing. I'm coping. I'm, 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 I'm studying two courses and I'm running my businesses without any uh, inconvenience. Yo. So let's get straight into the business part. You do something very special for your community. Tell us more about that. All right. Um, not only uh, an entrepreneur who works for profit. Um, on business, I, I manage four companies. Yeah. But I do have uh, two charity organizations that we're working on. Mm -hmm. Yo. Are you a man that does a lot of things? So in this is in I'm trying to all about charity, right? So tell us, how did the charity start? What do you do for the people? What kind of a charity is it? All right. Um, there's, there's two organizations that I'm running. Yeah. The first one is Andrew Rajalele uh, Foundation. Mm. And then the second one is uh, Hatelo Peli Group. Yes. First one, which is Enduratel Foundation, it's uh, basically focusing on, on, on empowerment, on youth, and, and, and also on education. Yeah. education Africa, Germany, the gross domestic product, aka GDP, with at least 3%, both public and private sources and skilled workers, skill based education, economy we're not only focusing on education, mm. but we, we do help young entrepreneurs. 
We do give people food who need them because there's a lot of people who are sleeping on the streets. They've never had food for quite a long time. Mm. So th that's basically what I do. And uh, this year I've recently launched a Basari Foundation mm. under Ingrudatella Foundation, mm. whereby we're giving learners from grade 11 and 12 to, to study at, at, at any tertiary institution, mm. but excluding private institutions. Mm. The academic platform is the online tutorials, studying by correspondence, the libraries, the Wi-Fi, online tutorials, the skill centers, telling the students to access for the students' literary education. Okay, so as cool as we get in you get that good. You get sandwiches, right? So, what's the matter, Boban? Would you guys work? You work here at home? Yes. Um, ke 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 very good lady, Chomitaka. Yeah. They they both from Pretoria, attending high school together, mm. and now we here in Cape Town together. Mm. Even though we we at uh, different institutions, but we we keep on meeting because we are friends, and we not only friends, yeah. but we are colleagues because the second charity foundation that we well, I'm, I'm working on. They also part of it, mm. and um, yeah, they they basically helping me. Mm. And to to I have to mention this that that there's no sponsor on on, on this okay. organization. Okay. Okay. We're not uh, funded by anyone. Mm. All the sandwiches, all the the ingredients to make these sandwiches, they from my pocket. The money that, that it's, it's from my pocket. Mm. Um, how many sandwiches have you made so far? Um, so far we've only made up to like 50 sandwiches. Okay. Okay. S so guys, tell me about your team dynamic. How is it working with Andrew? Yo, it's so great because we learn a lot from Andrew yeah. and he motivates us every day because he always has business ideas all the time. Mm. You, you never know what to expect from him next because yeah. he's always like thinking out of the box. Mm. Yeah. Uh, it's funny how this thing started. Uh, a while ago, Nekibua Lelele, my friend, Mm. And then Nampoza Ari, non reminder actually Ari when when really go go grade twelve for Bona never sits even a hana di 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 distinction di ing ing but then now I was already thinking of money mm. so uh, in in grade twelve I started trading currencies kumailongori kiki kitomi lo di rachale temo ting from there I, I I actually made my first seventy thousand when I was. Uh, I was 18 years old. Yeah. How and did I you came, make it? I, 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 I was introduced to the forex market. Okay. We, we, trade, we buy currencies mm. and sell them when they are, when, when they are very expensive. Mm. We buy them cheap and then we sell them expensive. Mm. Mm. So we, in, in other words, we get a profit. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So from there, we get a trade. And then the profit to start more companies. Mm. All right. Um, today, the, my friends, yeah. uh, who are also my colleagues, Ketlolo mm -hmm. Maswani and Tirelito uh, Manchidi. Yeah. So Ribizir, mm. Iradi Senwiji, and uh, we go into Belleville. Mo we we retrieve the fire to on the streets, mm. uh, something to eat. Nice. That's my one wish. Ne, is I had lots and lots of money. I was in Kwazulu Natal, Sana, na bantu abafunu funda. Shame. Unetu I do. And I'm sure now that because as Umbugelo Lana ATMZ would actually love to do something great for the entire world. And I'm sure with the episode so far is serving as an inspiration. What's unga tali pres go idea that is so game changing. Exactly. I mean, umuntu, umuntu, umuntu nga bantu. Funeke sko. When it comes to education up in South Africa, who was a squad of Pukula in Gomso year two, as well as in Jay Landelai. Sure, I Ushaya Kunis Konko Sini. As Kuwege Bafis Kulume on social media, while you do exactly that, we'll take a quick commercial break and we'll see you on the flip side of this. This is indeed teenagers on a mission, and we are back. Tina Spunukuti, would you? Would you know that have been sending your comments on social media? We love it. We love it a lot. Absolutely right. I mean, I think I should be to go see. I cannot wait to go see in a business land. One of them problems was a contributor to Abantu Abasha from this school and fulfill their dreams of being Abantu Abasha from there. How is it? Uh huh. Well, do you know? I'm the last year. Just like we see, okay, guys, we figure it's time for us to change the game. And Google in there is Nancy, so we use a Mali yet, you know. But other people sacrifice it to help others achieve their goals. Let's check this out.
19 years old. So, what motivates you in the end? Um, to be honest, mm. to be honest with you, I, I'm motivated by poverty. Yeah, I'm motivated by poverty. I know I wasn't born with a silver spoon in my mouth. Mm. I, I know my, my, grand, my great grandmother was poor, my grandmother was poor, my father was poor, my mother was poor. It's, it's, it's basically just a cycle of poverty. Mm. Mm. So, for me, it, would, it, it was just a question of, of, of saying, this is a cycle of poverty. When is it going to be broken, and who is going to be bro who is going, going to break, break that, mm. that that cycle of poverty? Mm. And the answer just said, "It's me." Yeah. If I lived in poverty, mm. do I still want my kids to to live in poverty? Mm. Do I still want want my friends to live in poverty? Mm. Do I still want the future generation to to live in poverty? Mm. And that is no. Yeah. So poverty just motivated me to to keep on go, uh, moving. Yeah. I, I really don't think I need a motivational speaker to to motivate me. Mm. My dream. Mm. Mm. need to motivate me, my goals need to keep me going. Mm. And as a man who broke poverty, you're not only breaking it for yourself, but for other people as well. In 20, 2017, mm. we, we started uh, giving people food, mm. the homeless people in Cape Town. Mm. And hopefully, very soon, we mm. will start in Johannesburg because there's a lot of people who, who don't have food in Johannesburg and yeah. sleeping on the streets. Mm. Mm. So we go out there on the streets, we walk and give people food. The last time we gave over over 150 sandwiches, if I'm not mistaken. Wow. Wow. And then now we're still going to do more. Yeah. We, we're going to give these people food. Mm. And uh, I, 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 it's basically just a giving. I know how it feels to have nothing. Yeah. I learned how to give, not because I have money, mm. but because I know how it feels to have nothing. Mm. Andrew, it's been a great day. We just handed out the last um, sandwich. How do you? How does this make you feel? Like, how does it? How does it wrap, wrap up your day? Um, it, it it really gives me much of a pleasure, mm. and I'm, I'm 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 really happy. Yeah. You know, giving people food and making sure that uh, people, at least for a day, they they get decent food yeah. instead of uh, trash from from the rubbish bins. Yeah. That puts a smile on my face. Yeah. At least yeah. I'll, I'll I'll sleep with 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 joy with mm. with, with pleasure. Yeah. Cool. I've been is Bonelli. It's been a great mission. In things on Chile and Oguti, if you want something to be done, on a melo muni muntu guta genzele yona. Do it yourself. And do pa mi sikas la konfeti. Don't sit down. Otherwise, this is what we call mission accomplished. Your boy C A W D Y pronounced Kerry is out of here. All right, in Zanzi Nako Ifiti Le. It's that time again where we actually put your knowledge to the test with our Tom's Quiz Challenge. My favorite. In Kumbu, let's play along with us. Queen Kunja is a common of a fair too on Facebook, on Twitter, or for him, Bendel is out of the corner. Nepen and Bovu, and what's got that correct, no matter or wrong. Do the right thing. With that being said, my first one, full of honor, Obana also Bobangova, Nam Shanji. Let's play. Dumelang of Fella UTOMZ is let's all the Hitila Hulu Runa Ibilil Rata Hulu, and that is why in today's episode, Blen Rachakala School is eating Momura Mucho Hannesburg. Let's go to the Rick MC to have some fun with you guys. How to read to Tagal Fatile Makatangla Science and Technology, Lights, Camera, and Action. Are you ready to experience the ultimate edutainment? It's cool to be smart, guys, and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. How to read to OMZ, Molita Korela, how learning becomes fun, and in turn, I read to edutainment. The Bafila did book that will empower the learners and keep them motivated. The book that is about two seconds, career guidance, or by the Kinako Etans and Bana Hanekabuka Musoba Bona. Read to the Hunter Bapala Monomo TOMZ, Rent the Silka Bapala, the TOMZ Dance Off Challenge. We tested their knowledge with the Tom's Quiz Challenge where we saw Team A winning the first round. To the next one, Murilin Rabona, a grade 11 learner, over Mitang Huriki, Batibe Chuarello Madiga, Gauling Ashula Batkofella, and moved to the second round, Moto Honomopala, TOMZ, Speed Round Master. All right, congratulations to Chuarello for making it this far to the Tom Speed Round Master. Siswami, how are you feeling? Uh, the nerves, ne? Yeah. <laughs> All right, Kunga took Siswami. Then Kunga is a learner, ne? Unta sell the very same pattern, Unta sell the very same pattern, Unta sell on top of a small one, right? You have two minutes to do exactly that, and your two minutes starts right now. All right, some bin, some bin, some bin. Hello, Rulano Bataru, Chakele Skolunsa. All you have to do is email tomz at sabceducation.co.za, and who knows, your school might be next. Seven, six, five, four, three, 
two. Yeah, no, that was a really, really close one. Got to Tatin Kuloibe up as well, so unfortunately, it's shiny in the this one. It's that time where we check out the future of Ngobe and Amhlanje. And seeing as it is all about education, tertiary and funding, let's go see what Mzanz Africa has to offer. educational funding. The educational funding system center. The tuition fees for the students, secondary school graduates, well over about the families, they should but a few are challenged to further their academic endeavors. Business funding capacity increases in student funding, addressing inequality needs for but well over about the families, they should pay healing na konsa kali. But sorry, but over about how now, but the school fees are not about now because how now for man government funding, students only pay reasonable registration amounts. School fees are going to stop at like the state. How to balance enrollment levels to pahaming. Increased national GDP by generating skilled workers creates skills based on curriculum policy. Unfortunately, Mzansi, we've come to the end of the episode. But don't you despair because you can still hit us up on social media 24 7. On Facebook, we are Tom's. On Twitter, at Tom's underscore SABC underscore one. Yeah, boy, yes, and I personally check those things out. So please talk to the girl, talk to me. <laughs> we also have our website get www.sabceducation.co.za forward slash TOMZ. Mm, absolutely right, you can catch me on Twitter. If you cannot get enough of this, uh, I am at Sia underscore G. We all know you want to check out my Twitter. Betsy underscore Buntu. And with that being said, bye-bye. Bye. I'm going to tell you that I'm going to a mission. I'm going to tell you that I'm going to have a sneakers in 2005. I'm going to sneakers. He pushes the South African sneaker culture through events that are going to sneaker exchange. I'm going to tell you that I'm sneaker collection. I'm going to tell you that I'm going to have a culture in the South African Every Thursday and Friday, more is ABC One. Mzansi for cheesy.